Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about something really important, something really uh, modern, something really uh, practice, a good practice that you should start using it in your applications from right now. Okay. After this tutorial, if you're working on Bootstrap, please start considering using Figure. Okay. Now, what is Figure? Why do we use it? etc. We'll learn everything in this episode. This is part 30 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. Make sure you check it out. I have planned more than 40 plus tutorials in this particular series and with some live examples which will really help you learn and master Bootstrap 5. Following is the index I've covered so far and you would find all of the components I've covered in detail with live coding and explanation. Today we are learning about Bootstrap figure. Now, what is bootstrap figure? Now, remember this. Anytime we want to display a piece of content, right? Like, uh, let's say you want to show an image on a website or on your product page or on your website. It will require a few things like an image and a caption, right? So to group them together, bootstrap provides a component called figure. Now, what it does is it will take two things. One is the image and the next is the figure caption. Okay, fig caption. So that way it will automatically and beautifully arrange the image and the caption so that we don't have to juggle around it. Okay. Now you can put it the figure at the center. You can put the caption at the end. You can have the rounded corner. You can have the fluid image and much more combinations of it. Why do we use this? Because a lot of unnecessary headache that the where, the where the caption should be aligned, whether the border should be rounded, whether the image should be responsive, should be fluid. All of the, those questions will be answered automatically if you use bootstrap figure. So if you haven't started using this, start using it from um, now. Okay. These are HTML5 standard semantic syntax elements like figure and fig caption. So bootstrap also supports them and we should start consider using them. That being said, let's get to hands on. I'll show you some of the variations of it. And um, all right. So let's go back to our code. And what I'm going to do is uh, this is the where I'm starting. Right. So I'm going to put some images here. Um, OK, so let's throw in first uh, H2 tag and say bootstrap. Figure. OK, now here I'm going to throw in a card so that we can have some our data all aligned in one place and the IV class equal to card content right um, so quickly test it out this is card content let's quickly check if this is okay so this is aligned correctly now you can give some more classes and make it big and say padding 3 so it looks good and neat and clean and big okay all right um, so now we need to implement figure okay so I'm going to say figure right this is where you will give the image caption right so figure will take two things one is IMG and it would have a source okay uh, do we have any image I don't know let's check uh, I don't think I have one we'll get it uh, from placeholder and then you will also have fig caption which is nothing but uh, the caption that you want to provide okay so let's go back to our documentation let's say placeholder uh, image that's what I would search and we'll get a dummy image for now and also we will get the bootstrap documentation up and we are learning about figures okay so this is the figure it has an image and class figure image uh, okay so we got the placeholder okay so I'm going to just copy it here this okay and and we can say image source equal to link and go to our figure and image source equal to IMG we don't need the link and we don't need the link okay uh, so we have provided the image now let's provide the class and the class name is figure hyphen image again you don't have to remember everything um, 
that is something that we learn on the go and you can the best way to look is the documentation if you're not sure and here I'm going to say from placeholder okay let's see what is wrong here uh, IMG SRC should be only the URL and this is good you don't close the tag yet you close it here figure class figure and you can give IMG res fluid that means it has to be responsive you can give rounded if you want the corners to be rounded alright so that's the basic uh, definition of figure um, where we have a figure that's the element we will use it has two pieces one is the actual image one is the caption okay and the classes are figure IMG which will tell image and then you have IMG fluid which will tell you that it's a fluid design that means responsive rounded means the, the placeholder should be rounder and caption what is the caption okay now let's try this out so you see this this is rounded here at the corners and from placeholder is at the start right now similarly we can put it at the end okay now you can put it at the end and say text hyphen end it would push it to the end if you don't give that it would be like if you see here it is going at the right side but normally the where we put it is on the left side like this okay so you have the image and you have the placeholder whenever you see any image going forward in your applications start using the figure element that way like I said this is HTML5 semantic ele element um, so it will also be respected by search engines and uh, etc okay now if you want um, I'm going to put all of this in a row right you can put them in a row the IV class equal to call and just paste it here I'm going to call this couple of times three four four is fine and delete this here so you see that four like that you can keep on building a grid uh, using this uh, figure uh, element and you know place the images and the title for them all right so yeah that is pretty much all about that you should learn about bootstrap figure but remember whenever you are using an image or anywhere any um, media like this image or video or anything start using figure uh, that's the best part alrighty uh, that being said I think that's all I have for this uh, episode I'll, I'm keeping it short intentionally I want to cover everything about bootstrap and probably will do some live uh, coding as well together thank you so much for joining in this episode if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials in the next episode we are going to learn about bootstrap carousel and we'll build a carousel from scratch thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode